Man, I love the Fang of Critias and let's do it guys. Egyptian God versus Egyptian God. Slifer versus Obelisk. new part of Yu-Gi-Oh! Poke Duel. When we last left off, we defeated the Paradox Brothers in order to obtain our gym badge number 6. And that means we have unlocked Surf outside of battle, and now we have access to two of the three Egyptian God cards, and uh, also <coughs> our destination Atlantis, to face the next gym leader, Mr. Darts. Now, I couldn't have defeated the Paradox Brothers without the help of this awesome, awesome team, especially our Black Skull Dragon, uh, the reference to the Yugi and Joey's uh, duel against the Paradox Brothers. Others, and uh, our Burstatrix, of course, reminiscent of Jaden and uh, Cyrus's duel against them later in the anime. So I think this is a very good team. But you know what? As always, unfortunately, we have to deposit some of them uh, to make way for some new members in order to face uh, the next encounter, which I believe is going to be Mr. Konami. Um, so let's get out of here without getting caught. Or you know what? Let's go face Wall Shadow and bid him farewell. Goodbye, Wall Shadow. And uh, getting out of the maze. <laughs> so, thank you for that. Yes, there it is. The scientist reminding us of the Mr. Konami's encounter. And I believe it's actually mandatory uh, to do so. Because um, the mansion, which, which has the key for the gym, is actually blocked by a scientist. So, we actually have to do this. So, I thought about the new members that we should add to our team and there is a member that was newly added in patch 4.4 um, and I already knew where that monster dwelt. Can I squish you sir? <laughs> no, but imagine my surprise if, if that would have happened or maybe, you know what, maybe something will happen if I put it here. I haven't tried that before. Maybe special music or a special event? Ta -ta -na -ta -na. <laughs> Well, nothing of the sort, but it would have been fun if that happened. Um, so yeah, I have a new member in mind, uh, and it actually dwells quite near of here. Um, and I knew of its existence in the previous part, but I had no intention of adding it to the team uh, for the Paradox Brothers encounter, so maybe now is the time to add it and see how it does against Mr. Konami. And who knows, if it does well, we can actually add it as well uh, for Mr. Darts. So that's a, a bit of a reach, but who knows? That could happen. Okay. Wow, Kaiba Man is destroying everything in his way, as he should, of course. And we got Destiny Knot, the item from the movie Your Name, Kimi no Nawa, uh, the Red Knot of Destiny. Now, this monster dwells here, and I don't believe we have encountered it yet, so yes, it's going to be one of those two question marks. And the other question mark is Elemental Hero Necroshade, if I remember correctly. So, uh, let's... you know what, let's try and uh, face him, so... Not you, Time Wizard. Oh, and you have Shadow Tag, I forgot about that. But our Swift can deal with that, so hopefully Necroshade is here. So that leaves the last monster in this patch of grass, which is Rescue Rabbit, the mascot for Duel Masters. Or, it's Master Duel. Oh, do not Duel Masters, it's Master Duel. Um, so, this is the new addition that we're going to add to our team, and I have an appropriate name for you. Um, how do I... You know what, let's just catch you in a Pokeball and not risk... You going down. You're very cute, by the way. Okay. So, we do have some great balls here. Yep, Rescue Rabbit was caught. The captain of Kanto's search and rescue team. When Rescue Rabbit isn't saving lives, he's studying the law. <laughs> and I have an appropriate name for you. 
Your name is... Judy. Okay, Judy. Hops. Indeed. So, let's check our Judy Hops. So, Rescue Rabbit, Normal Type, Adamant Nature, S in Speed and Defense, wow! That is very, very interesting. Quick Exit, switches out below half HP. Hmm, that's interesting. So, with an item like the Focus Sash, that's an interesting combination that I can think of right now. After you, what is that? The user helps the target and makes it use its move right after the user. I... Okay, you have U-Turn, which is interesting. Um, I have no idea what that does, but I do want to say something, guys. I think I will actually not use the regular version of um, Rescue Rabbit and try to search for the shiny version. So, sorry about that, but let's deposit Judy. And try to catch us a shiny version now that you're available in the decks now. Okay, so we do need to assign you. I totally forgot to do that. Okay, we do need to disable auto run. Now, this again could take a while, so I think I will cut until we actually encounter a shiny version of Rescue Rabbit and add that to the team. But Time Wizard is actually making this uh, a lot more tedious than it should be, so I think I will add the shiny version. Yeah, I'm contemplating that, so... Yeah, so that will take a while, so quick transition, guys, until that happens, and I'll see you soon. Seven hours later... Wow. Okay, finally got <laughs> a shiny version of Rescue Rabbit, but I have to admit that, that it's very subtle changes. So I hope I can catch you in a premiere ball. Okay, Rescue Rabbit was caught, the shiny version, and I do have a nickname in mind for you. Um, you're the mascot of uh, Master Duel, and uh, I have a name for you which is also a mascot for a franchise. You are our... <laughs> Pikachu! So yes, we have Pikachu now uh, in our team, so let's check you. So, Naive Nature, <laughs> okay, uh, SM Speed again, and 77, that's a lot of speed, I have to say, and SM Defense as well, Quick Exit again, uh, Roll Out, instead of After You, Foresight, Charm, and U-Turn, wow, wow, but you know what, uh, that actually took me a long time, longer than I would have liked, uh, so if you go to the next nav here, it actually tells you that I faced him 255 times, um, uh, and that is not accurate, because those are only the times invoked by using the dex nav, but I also got interrupted sometimes by Rescue Rabbit, so you can add like 10 more encounters to that number, and that would be the accurate number of encounters, um, but yeah, um, because as you can see, I faced Time Wizard a lot of times, and it's still zero here, and... Um, I actually faced him too much that our Kaiba man is now level 49. <laughs> so that's funny. And you know what? I would like to see um, Judy and Pikachu next to each other so we can actually see the subtle differences between the shiny version and the original version. They seem so subtle. Wow, it's the color of the helmet. And the ears, and that's it. Wow. Okay, you know what? I will withdraw Judy for now. And um, try to see the move after you. In action. Uh, because I have no idea what that move does. Against Time Wizard. So, let's use that. Um, okay. Oh. <laughs> 
Okay, we're gonna see a war of words between Rescue Rabbit and uh, Ojama Yellow. Uh, because Ojama Yellow was the mascot for Yu-Gi-Oh! Poke Duel, but now we have uh, the mascot for uh, Master Duel, uh, which is also Pikachu, which is the mascot for Pokemon. So yeah, that's an interesting dynamic. But I'm the mascot boss, <laughs> and we have Pikachu Pika Pika! Uh, yeah, war of words between them. Not with Judy, uh, though, so... What happens if I use after you after a rescue rabbit? It is not working for some reason. It keeps failing. And Jamaello will be happy to take down rescue rabbit, of course. Thank you, Jamaello. Um, but I have no idea what the move after you actually does by that standard. Okay. U-turn still works though, so that's fine. Hmm. Tell you what, let's use the deck snap to invoke uh, Venom Boa. And try to use after you against it. It failed again. Okay. Uh, honestly, I have no idea. Oh, okay, that's the quick exit uh, uh, coming into action, so who knows? That could be actually beneficial. Combined with a Focus Sash, that could be beneficial in our team. Huh, but okay, so for now, let's switch. Our newly added Pikachu <laughs> instead of Judy. Thank you, Judy. And I have no idea what the move after you does, uh, but I don't think it's a good move anyway. In my opinion, I haven't seen it in action yet. Um, so let's go heal up in Lavender Town and give some rare candies to our Pikachu. And we are at the move relearner just in case we uh, need to see the full roster of moves on our Pikachu. Stuffed Cheeks. The user consumes its health berry, then raises its defense sharply. Could be beneficial against Foresight. I don't remember this being... No, I don't think that's a good move. Wow, okay, I'll learn that instead of Charm for sure. Acrobatics 2. Wow, a nimble attack that does double damage if the user has no held item. That is very interesting. Very interesting indeed. Hyper Fang. 1890 accuracy only though. Um, and it's a normal move, so you know what? No, I will not learn that. And let's give everyone to level 49 now. It's the new level, thanks to Time Wizard. Now, let's check the move relearner and see what we missed on our Pikachu. Helping Hand, a move that boosts the power of the allies attack in a battle. Interesting. Quick attack could be useful, so let's learn that. Instead of... Um... I'm not gonna use U-turn on Pikachu. Sorry. So let's check again. The target is attacked with electrified cheeks that... What? What? I... I called you Pikachu, and there is actually a move in your arsenal? Electrified cheeks that leave it... Wow. Wow, that is definitely going into, an, into our arsenal. It's a very weak electrical type move, but it's a signature move. I definitely will learn that instead of Dig. Wow. I, need, I definitely need to see that in action. And there is after you, but I have no idea how it works.
Okay. So that's our arsenal then. And we still have the TM case. So let's check. Oh, we need a surfer. I totally forgot about that. Right now we don't have a surfer in our team. I do have a surfer in mind. But in order to get to it, we actually need to surf. So I may add a temporary surfer to our team until we get our true surfer <laughs> that we will add. Do I add Rock Smash to your arsenal? You know what? I, it could be beneficial, uh, more beneficial than Quick Attack, so we'll learn that. You can learn Bullet Seed. Oh, can you learn Giga Drain? No, you cannot. Okay. <laughs> you got my hopes up there. You can learn Return, though. Pikachu with Return. That could be something. And I can see Ojamayelo there <laughs> giving me the side eye. Um, is Rollout that good? Um, it could miss. So, no. I think I will learn Return instead of it. Thief! Oh, a dark type attack? Interesting. Well, we do have acrobatics here, so I will learn... Is it a signature move, though? And Rock Smash? Okay, I'll learn it instead of Rock Smash here. You can learn Low Sweep, though. Interesting. So, Thief will steal the opponent's item. That will render Acrobatics... ...useless. Lowering speed. So, sorry, Thief, but... We will learn Low Sweep. I think this is the first time ever I teach anyone <laughs> Low Sweep instead of Drain Punch. So that's interesting. You can learn Bulldoze, though. But you know what? I will keep... Yeah, I will keep Low Sweep in. Wow. Okay, our Pikachu. You are awesome! Uh, naive nature, do I change that? I believe so. I think uh, you are jolly nature. Uh, it's our Pikachu, of course, so... Thank you. Excellent! Now, for our next destination, we need a surfer. There is no way around it. So who are we going to replace in our team? You know what? <clears throat> I think it's time for this duo. We will definitely see them again, but this duo is taking up two spaces in, in our team right now. And I think I will store them in the box. Box two. Yeah, in order to uh, free some space here. And let's fly <laughs> using our Zen Nen Toji to our... Pallet Town once again, and let's fish for some surfers here, using the Super Rod. Okay, a Star Boy! Um, although I would like to see Nuzzle in action, so let's see it in action first. Super effective and paralyzed! Wow, and Acrobatics does a lot of damage because we don't have a held item. Is that true? That is true. Wow, Pikachu is going to be a very <laughs> powerful member of our team. Interesting. I only... I only thought that uh, Pikachu will be against Mr. Konami, but who knows, this... A happy starfish. <laughs> okay, uh, give a nickname to you. Uh, no, I, I love the uh, Happy Starfish. Uh, 
uh, description there. And here we have this item, which is a grass gem. Okay, and what dwells here? Injection Fairy Lily! Oh, I can't add you. I'm sorry about that, Injection Fairy Lily, but I cannot add you. I'm very sorry about that, and I will not attack you, of course. There is one monster. Oh, Marshmallow. <clears throat> I remember now. We haven't met Marshmallow yet. Okay. So let's continue our way. Hello there, legendary fisherman. And I would like... Wait, I would like to confirm something here. This move, Nuzzle, may be paralyzed? No, that leaves it paralyzed. Does that mean it's 100% guaranteed paralysis? Pikachu. Pikachu. That could be something here. Interesting, interesting. Wow. And here we have the entrance to the Shadow Realm, of course. But I will not dwell in all of that just yet. And there's the scientist blocking our way. Okay, the door is locked. Yes, it is. And I, uh, I'm definitely not gonna face... Uh, the gym leader here with this team, <clears throat> with all due respect, but we do need a, a new team and uh, more powerful than that. Do we have Max Repel? No, we don't. Do we have Super Repels? We have 26 of those, and I think that's enough. Smackdown? Aurora Veil. What is Smackdown? A projectile is thrown at the foe, a flying monster will fall to the ground? Interesting, so... It removes Levitate? Smackdown removes Levitate. That's interesting, and Aurora Veil as well. This move reduces damage from physical and special moves for 5 turns during hail. I totally... Oh, I thought of Aurora Beam. Not Aurora Veil, I'm sorry about that. But we do have the money for <laughs> for those kind of mistakes. So that's fine. Uh, Smackdown. Wow, you can learn it, Ojamayelo. Interesting. Can I actually replace something in your arsenal? Well, it's better and more... It's more accurate than Rock Tomb. Lowers the foe's speed if it hits. But... Not levitating could be beneficial too. You know what? I would like to give you Smackdown. Yeah, I'll draw my yellow with the Smackdown. <laughs> That's interesting. Now, let's register this Poké Center on the map. And we do have a lot of things in this lab over here. Oh, you know what? We do have a new member that can be added here. A Ryu Ran for Meteor Dragon? No, I'm not adding Meteor Dragon. Tiki Elder. That's a terrible uh, trade-off, by the way. Yes! The Choice Packs! That's a very, very powerful item. Thank you for that, kind sir. We'll definitely use that. Um, okay. Let's say yes for our Pikachu. Tinted Lens? No. Normalized? No. Okay, Burstinatrix doesn't have one. How about our Zenin Toji? Telepathy? Uh, no. Well, <laughs> our star boy. My boy! Look what they did to my boy! So, we do have a fossil with us, Sagi the Dark Clown for Neos, no, and here we have the fusion machine from uh, Dragon Ball Z Team Training. Neos and Rainbow Dragon, yes, but we don't have access to Rainbow Dragon yet. And we'll give you the dome fossil to get Tyrant Dragon. You know what? I think I'll add Tyrant Dragon, it's gonna work perfectly with our surfer uh, that I have in mind. So. Tyron Dragon, welcome to the team! And I would like to give you a nickname. What was the name of that dragon? We called our Red-Eyes Black Dragon the Dread. 
And I do have a nickname for our surfer. So, you know what, Tyrant Dragon? You're going to be our... Caraxus. Yes, another awesome dragon. Welcome to the team. Level 5. Lonely nature? Oh, I'll definitely change that. Don't worry about it. Special attack is S. That's interesting. Blaze. Ups fire moves in a pinch. Ember, growl, and fire spin. And you know what? I remember he had a, a signature move that gets more powerful the more monsters it takes down, which is synonymous with its ability in the Yu-Gi-Oh! universe. So I will definitely um, try to give you this signature move. So, let's get you all the way up to level 49 here. Okay, wing attack, sure. Okay, Fire Fang can be here until it gets replaced in the future. We do have Incinerate, if I remember. Ancient Power. Oh, that's interesting. I'll definitely replace Slash for it. Dual Chop? That's an interesting move on a dragon, sir. Flamethrower, sure. That will definitely replace Fire Fang, but where is the signature move? Is it at level 50? I hope not. But it appears so. Yeah, it appears to be unlocked at level 50. That's unfortunate. But Caraxes, welcome to the team. And now, let's go get our surfer, shall we? Because I don't uh, plan to go face Mr. Konami. Oh, okay. And before we face Mr. Konami, I totally forgot about this, but we do have the Egyptian God cards, so we do need to get those. Awesome work, Pikachu. Seven colored fish. I think this is a great debut for our Karaxes. Okay, for some reason you took yourself down. Thank you for that seven colored fish. Now, our surfer dwells in here. It's one of those two question marks, and the other one is Yuzan Ryu, if I remember correctly. And there it is, the Snow Dragon! I will definitely add you to the team! Now, can you go down in a Great Ball? Because again, I don't plan on adding you. I plan on adding a shiny version of you to our team. Just like our Pikachu. Sick and tired of being told to lose weight. <laughs> Well, that's an interesting uh, introduction to a description there. Snow Dragon will blast anyone who suggests a meal plan. <laughs> well, that's a lovely, lovely description, isn't it? Um, no, I will not give you a nickname, but that, that was awesome, I have to say. Now, I will um, use the PC ability here to deposit Starboy. And... You know what, let's withdraw our Snow Dragon, um, only for one reason, because when I get a shiny version, I want to see a side-by-side -side comparison between Snow Dragon and uh, our shiny version of Snow Dragon, but <sighs> you know what that means? That means I have to put someone in the box, and I'm sorry Zen and Toji, but I think it's gonna be you because I don't want to add Burstinitrix, or Pikachu, or Jamaello, and our newly added Caraxes. So, Zen and Toji, I'm sorry, but... 
hopefully we'll see you again, but you will be stored in box number two here. And that will leave us space for finding the shiny version of Snow Dragon. So, uh, there is an, a new change added in patch 4.4, guys, where, do you remember we had to chase those clouds over here? Now, okay, battery is low, thank you for that. Um, yeah, we had to chase um, those clouds all over the area, but now we don't have to. So, thank you very much for the ROM hack maker for changing this mechanic, because I really, really had a, a very hard time catching a change of heart in the Shadow Realm uh, due to this mechanic, so thank you very much for changing it. And I think I will um, flash forward to the time where I get a shiny version of Snow Dragon, guys. So there's Yuzan Ryu, hello there, sir. A shiny version of Yuzan Ryu would be awesome too, um, to see what it looks like. But I'm interested in uh, seeing the shiny version of Snow Dragon first. That will be the addition to our team. So you know what, guys? Quick transition until that happens, and I'll be right back. Wow! Look at that beautiful sprite, guys! Mr. Romhack Maker, you outdid yourself with that one! That is a beautiful monster right there! And sorry guys that I got sidetracked from finding a shiny version of Snow Dragon, but the idea of finding a shiny Yuzan Ryu kept bugging me, and I'm glad that I listened to that voice in my head! That is a beautiful monster! Mr. Snow Dragon, you have a high mountain to climb to make me replace you with that! Yeah, look at the original version! A dragon created from a massive diamond that sparkles with blinding light. Wow, I thought I loved Yuzan Ryu before, he was part of my schoolyard deck. And the shiny version? Wow, looks even much more beautiful. And I do have a nickname for you, sir. Uh, I will call you... Rhaegal! <laughs> Another dragon joins the team! Wow, Mr. Snow Dragon, you have a high mountain to climb, I tell ya. Wow. SN Defense and SN Special Defense. Clear Body, Prevents Ability Reduction. Those are very, very nice stats there. And uh, yeah, Mr. Snow Dragon. Yeah, your shiny should be like... Wow. I have very high expectations now, and I may actually add Regal to the team instead of Snow Dragon after this, but for now, I will deposit it to uh, leave our space open for the shiny version of Snow Dragon and uh, put both of them side by side. 255 again! Wait. Is that a theme? Like a, curring, an, a recurring theme that this is the magic number? I hope not, because uh, Snow Dragon, we have a lot of encounters to reach that number. But man, that's a very weird coincidence if it is. We'll have to find out. So let me assign Snow Dragon here and search for its shiny version. And again, that will take some time. So hopefully it doesn't take <laughs> 255 times, uh, but we'll have to wait and see. So quick transition, guys, and I'll be right back. Finally, that took a very, very unnecessarily long time, guys. <laughs> Today is a new uh, day, I think like two days uh, in the future from the previous part. Man, that took a lot, and I mean a lot of encounters. Sir, I nearly gave up on you. <laughs> I, I nearly gave up on uh, Snow Dragon having a shiny form. Wow, well, we're finally here, guys, and this is a golden form. I like it, but... It doesn't kind of work with the nickname that I picked for the shiny version of Snow Dragon, so we'll see how it goes. I will use Nuzzle. Thank you, sir. And I will catch you in a Great Ball. Thank you, sir. But I will not give you the nickname that I planned. I mean, in comparison to Snow Dragon, the original form and the shiny form. The shiny form looks beautiful, I have to admit. 
but I'm gonna take a leap of faith here and I'm gonna give you the nickname that I initially planned for the shiny form. I will call you... Viserion, yes, and now you can see why I picked that uh, form of the monster to be called Viserion. I mean, it's a blue dragon, <laughs> and uh, yeah, I, I don't see you as Viserion. I actually see you as, some, as someone else. Do you know who's a golden dragon? Uh, I will give you, sir, the nickname. Shinron. Yes, yeah, so now we have a golden Shenron. Now, let's use some rare candies on both of you to see the difference in your evolutions. Okay, Ice Fang can go instead of Growl, sure. Barrier. The user creates a sturdy wall that sharply raises its defense stat. Well, I'm not gonna learn that, sorry. And Viserion is evolving! Wow, that is a beautiful snow dust dragon and still <laughs> very consistent with the nickname. Trying to learn barrier again, sir. I said no the first time. And now let's see the, the shiny version of uh, snow dust dragon. Hopefully it will be a golden Shinron with green eyes too. I like that color scheme, I have to admit. Green eyes with golden body. Okay, level 30 it is. Wow, it's gonna look amazing! Uh, what happened there, sir? Um, what? He reversed the color scheme, so now the body is green and the eyes are golden, or not even that, it's white now? Um, okay. We have a... Well, I mean Shenron is green too. Well, that could work, so... Trying to learn Barrier again, but that makes me very skeptical about your evolution. <laughs> because I do know what what uh, White Knight Dragon looks like, but I have no idea now what your shiny form is gonna look like, sir. That is interesting. Is it gonna be golden? Is it gonna be green? Is it gonna be a third color? Night Slash. Um, well, we do have a lot of Ice-type moves here, so we can spare some. Okay, Avalanche or Ice Fang. If the target has hurt the user, I don't think that's gonna be the case all the time. So you know what, Avalanche? I will replace you with Dragon Claw. Blizzard. Uh, I'm not gonna learn that, but I believe you're going to evolve at level 48 indeed Into our final form of Viserion the white knight dragon Awesome 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 that is Viserion right there. Can you imagine that as a golden form? As a green form, I don't like it. I hope I hope it's not green reflect type the user reflects the target's type, making it the same type as the target. Very situational, I, I don't think I'll learn that. But I'm very interested to seeing Shinron's evolution now. Okay, I'm, I pressed that by mistake. And level 46, 47, 48. Here we go. Let's see what Shenron looks like.
Is it white because it's called White Knight Dragon? Really? Really? I, I Is that the joke here? Because... Why? The three lines of evolution are very strange here. And they should be all level 49. Um, first, we start with golden body and green eyes. And that looked beautiful. I really had high hopes for that one. Except it wasn't Viserion. It was Shenron. And then it turned into a green dragon again, Shenron. And then... Let, let me... Let me... Okay, I did not mean to do that. Mirror move. The user counters the move last used by the foe with the same move. Very situational again. I will not learn it. But now, <laughs> unfortunately, I have to give everyone rare candies to become level 50. Ojama Delta Hurricane! 195! The user unleashes a giant gust of air at the foe. This move is both normal and flying type and hits ghost monsters. That is definitely going into our arsenal of moves instead of cut for sure. Awesome work, Ojama Edo. Oh, and now we get the flame blast as well on our Caraxes. So even though it's weaker, but look at that line. If this move knocks out a target, the user's attack stat rises. So that is definitely replacing flamethrower here. And you're level 50 as well, not learning mirror move. Okay, let me... Okay, I did the same mistake again. We should see it from here. So this is Viserion. And is this Shenron? It does... <laughs> it doesn't look like Shenron at all. It does look like White Knight Dragon, though. It's white now. So... I think I will... <clears throat> okay, you know what? I think I will call you a different nickname now. Uh, because you're not Shenron. I'm sorry. Shenron was the golden dragon. Um, for me, at least. So I will call you... Quark. The White Dragon from Lunar Silver Star Story. And uh, yeah, I think that is more convenient for you, sir. Yeah. He's a White Dragon. So that is... And he was in an ice cave. Okay, now, now I see you are Quark for sure. Yes, and I love that series, Lunar uh, Silver Star Story. Um... I think I'll put the link uh, on the screen here. And the next course of action, guys, is to catch us an Egyptian God card. Man, I love this from Hack. Uh, the, the ability to say this sentence makes me happy. <laughs> and I'm very grateful for the ROM Hack Maker for making um, this area accessible without having to solve the puzzle. And I'm also very grateful, I think I said that before, um, for not chasing the... The spot where the Pokemon uh, dwells, uh, because I had to do that in the previous versions in order to catch the shiny version of uh, Serpent Knight Geth and um, uh, Divine Serpent Geth, sorry, uh, and uh, Change of Heart, and it was not fun. It was not fun at all chasing those spots all over the Shadow Realm. So I'm very grateful for those changes, and here we go the Egyptian God card, Obelisk, the Tormentor. And you know what? I will face you with Pikachu. <laughs> that, that is something, you know? Now, if I remember correctly, there is a music that plays at the first part of the encounter. So be very careful here, guys, with clicking buttons. It's the Fang of Critias. I love this music. I love it. Thank you. Mr. Rom Hack Maker for taking the effort of adding it into the Rom Hack, but it's uh, for a very short time because now it's the Wrath of Obelisk, the Tormentor, the Wrath of the Gods plays. Now, Pikachu, I choose you against Obelisk, the Tormentor. <laughs> Pika, Pika. <laughs> what am I supposed to do here? <laughs> well, um, he's not gonna be paralyzed. I forgot about that. <clears throat> that was actually my strategy here. So, let's use low sweep and decrease your speed instead. Ouch! Okay, Pikachu goes down. And... I think I'll use Burstinatrix here. Wow, 
Okay. You know what, guys? Um, there is a problem here. I think I will have to use the Master Ball, because I just remembered that Obelisk has rest. So even if we got him paralyzed somehow, or poisoned, or anything, and if we get him to red health, he can just rest and restore his HP, so that is something that I did not account for. So we do have a Master Ball here, and we may have to use it. I hope not, but we may resort to it. Ouch. Okay, sorry about that, Quark. And I will send out Vitharion to avenge you. Well, it's up to Caraxes now. Well, Caraxes, can you take down Obelisk the Tormentor? This is our last chance here, guys. And of course not. Goodbye, Caraxes. I'm very sorry about that, my team. But now, for our mascot. Sorry about that, Pikachu. But Ojama Yellow! Yes, boss! You're the one who's gonna take down Obelisk. I know I'm cheesing it using a Master Ball, but it's you, Ojama Yellow, who's gonna do it! I believe in you! Yes, boss! And you did it, Ojama Yellow! Awesome, awesome, awesome job! Yes, boss, I did it! Uh, regardless of the fact that we did use a Master Ball here, but Ojama Yellow did it, guys! Obelisk, the Tormentor! Egyptian God Card! He strikes his foe with Fist of Fury! Yes! <laughs> Give him a nickname? No. And now, let's uh, put him in our team instead of Quark, I think. Or Viserion. It, it won't matter, one of those two. So, instead of Quark. So, Quark. Very nice to meet you, sir. <laughs> Very unexpected, too, because I planned on uh, using Viserion as the shiny version, but uh, all good things happen for a reason. So, escape rope, I will put it up here and use one to get out. Now, our next course of action is, of course, of course, to go catch our second Egyptian God card. So, let's heal everyone back up. And sorry, Pikachu, but I have to put our mascot on, Ojama Yellow, instead of you. Pika, Pika! Sorry about that, Pikachu, but this is Yu-Gi-Oh! Pokeduel, after all. And let's face this person. Wow, that's a lot of damage, Ojama Yellow. You're our mascot for a reason. And you do have Thunder Giant, but you know what? I'm sorry, sir. You're in for... An Egyptian God card! Obelisk is here! I break the mold, then I'll break your bones with Earth Power! Goodbye, kind sir, no chance! No chance at all! Huh, I'm not angry! Of course you're not, because if you were, I would have used Obelisk against you. Now, before we enter, I think we do have some moves that we can teach our Obelisk. I totally forgot about checking for... Oh, Surf! Uh, drain Punch. I can learn it instead of Gust, of course. Oh, that's interesting. Obelisk with a dark type move. Do you remember, guys, that was the problem against the 8th gym leader? Obelisk didn't have that move. Or was it something else? No, I think that was the problem, yeah. Hammer Arm is a signature move. I don't think I'll replace that. Rest can go. 
even though it's very beneficial against Lifer, but um, that's the only use for it. I don't use it anywhere else. Okay, there is Drain Punch. Instead of Brick Break, of course, as always. Well, that's interesting. Wing Attack or Bulldoze? And we have Aerial Ace, which is better than Wing Attack. And I don't think I'll use Bulldoze here, but I do have Aerial Ace. Wow, we have Smackdown too. Can you imagine <laughs> Obelisk the Tormentor using the Smackdown? Wow, we, we still need to see that in action on Ojama Yellow. So, where is Aerial Ace? Wait, I didn't pick Aerial Ace? Oh, there it is. And do you have something to replace it, Mr. Viserion? No, I will use that, and that, and that, and that. So Aerial Ice has no place in your arsenal of moves. And with that, let's enter the power plant. Have we checked everything in here? Yes, and by the way, guys, um, the search level caps at level 255. I confirmed that uh, with our Viserion, so... It is the number of encounters that you have, but it's uh, capped out at level 255. And the only reason I did not use a uh, repel here, because I would like to see a smackdown on Ojamayello! Awesome job, Ojamayello! Laying the smackdown! <laughs> okay, we have Protect. And Junk Warrior. Well, we do have Bulldoze. And he avoided the attack too. Awesome job, Ujamaelo. But I think I will use the repel now. Okay, we have only one repel, but we do have more uh, super repels. There they are. And we definitely need this move. And here we have Sangha of the Thunder, if you would like to add him to the team. And I think I'll do, if he survives this. Yes, he does. Not before paralyzing our uh, Jamaello, though. A Thunderball that is negatively charged. What does this mean? Nobody knows, but I do know that it evolves into the Gate Guardian. And that is enough information that you need to know. Okay, a Thunderstone to replace the one that we used on our Summon Skull. And another Sang of the Thunder, and I never understood why we have that. Okay, Jamaelo goes down, so let's feature our Obelisk, the Tormentor! Sang of the Thunder! You're no match to an Egyptian god! Earth power! Well, you protected yourself? Sure, but now I will use Fist of Fury! Breaking the earth underneath you, sir! Sink into the depths of the Shadow Realm! Now, with that out of the way, now we have Ishizu's encounter, <laughs> and we do have Obelisk the Tormentor in our team. That's really, really ironic, and the Electric Gem, of course. So, uh, let's heal up our Jomayelo. And sorry, Pikachu, I know that you're... <laughs> 
<laughs> you're trying to get uh, the first spot here, but no, El Jamaelo is our mascot and he's gonna lead every duel. My family has guarded the tomb of the pharaoh for generations. It's my duty to ensure that only the chosen duelist has access to the almighty beast. If you are truly the one, then you must defeat me in a duel. Well, let's see what fate has in store for you. Ishizu Ishtar. Dark Geroid starts the duel. Poison Bard. Okay, we do have Bulldoze here. Oh, and you have Toxic for a Jamaello. Not cool. And you know what, just for seeing it at least once, let's use Ojama Delta Hurricane! Wow, that's a very decent amount of damage, but how does that compare with Return, I guess? Uh, we'll find out soon, but if we can survive Venoshock? No, we cannot survive Venoshock! Oh, I don't like Dark Geroid at all! Well, let's send out our Corexes here. Because I will try to take you down using Flame Blast! Oh, you took your brother's card Apophis, I see. That's a decent amount of damage, but Earthquake! That's gonna deal a lot of damage to our Corexes. Ouch! You know what? Maybe I should give Corexes the, the Red Balloon to prevent that from happening again. Well, you learn. And I have Viserion here. In order to use Surf on you, Mr. Apophis. Okay, we're paralyzed. Wow. Okay, I don't like that happening, Mr. Apophis. And a critical hit to take down Viserion. You know what? That actually makes me very mad indeed that I'm willing to send out Obelisk, the Tormentor now! I will obliterate you, Apophis, using Earth Power! Goodbye, kind sir. Who are you gonna send next? Dark Magician Girl. Well, I will send out our Burstinatrix against Dark Magician Girl. Sorry about that obelisk, but let them fight it out. Using Flamethrower against Psychic. That's a lot of damage on your part. Dark Magician Girl. And we dealt a lot of damage on our end too, so everything here is balanced, and let's use Extreme Speed! Wow, that was not enough at all, and Dark Burning Attack to take down Burstinatrix! Oh, that was very unfortunate. You're burned. And we do have Pikachu still, but I will send out you know what? I'll send out Pikachu. Pikachu! I choose you! Pika Pika! <laughs> Against Dark Magician Girl! So, let's use Acrobatics! 
Goodbye, Dark Magician Girl. Dark Geroid comes back, sure. And you still have quite a few monsters in your arsenal, Ishizu. But Acrobatics takes down Dark Geroid as well. Injection Fairy Lily, are you kidding me? Don't do that to Injection Fairy Lily, please. Oh, and she's in a love ball as well. Well, I have to do it. Sorry about that, Injection Fairy Lily. Wow, you're very, very strong, and you have warranted the appearance of an Egyptian god against you. Break the mold and break the ground underneath you, and I'm sorry <laughs> to do that, I'm very sorry. But Obelisk, Fist of Fate! Sorry about that, Injection Fairy Lily. Okay, now your last monster, Silent Magician level 8. And I'll send out our Pikachu against her. My Millennium Necklace tells me my victory is imminent. Well, I will use Nuzzle against you to get you paralyzed. And Psychic goes through to take down our Pikachu, but you know what? Now, we are 1v1! Obelisk, the Tormentor! Remember this card, Ishizu? Now it's back. And no, I don't have Blue Eyes White Dragon with me to uh, tribute, so I will use Drain Punch, Fist of Fury! Wow, super effective against our Obelisk? Took him down to red health? I cannot let that stand. Obelisk, take her down using Fist of Fury! Goodbye, Sonic Magician level 8. See that, Ichizu? That's how you defeat. Oh, sorry, how you use an Egyptian God card is what I'm supposed to say. You have passed the test. Yes, and I love this image. I love Ichizu. Looking and we having our last standing monster, Obelisk the Tormentor. I, I love this. I love this ROM hack. Ah, I love this ROM hack indeed. Go on, you have passed the test. And what do we get for passing the test? We get to face Mr. Slifer the Sky Dragon. So, let's use the PC here to restore everyone back to full health. Okay, not pork. And sorry, Obelisk, or maybe, you know what? I will lead the duel with Obelisk, the Tormentor, against Lifer, so let's restore him to full health as well. And then withdraw him. And then put him up front to facing the second Egyptian god that's gonna join our team, Slifer, the Sky Dragon! Man, I love the Fang of Critias, and let's do it, guys. Egyptian God versus Egyptian God. Slifer versus Obelisk. 
I break the mold, kind sir. And uh, then I will use Drain Punch on you. I definitely don't want to take him down. So I think that's enough, and let's chuck Ultra Balls now. And Opalus goes down. That's really unfortunate. Can you get paralyzed, sir? Or are you going to absorb the impact? I will decrease his speed. If we can survive this. Wow, with a critical hit, even Pikachu survives! Pikachu! <laughs> and the quick exit too! Wow, okay, Pikachu survives to Jamayello. Why me, boss? Well, Pikachu is going, so Jamayello comes in, definitely. And I will use Ultra Ball. Come on, Slifer, join our team. We're out of Master Balls now, so we must use Ultra Balls to catch you. Jamayello tanks the attack of Slifer the Sky Dragon, but hopefully he will go down in an Ultra Ball, which looks yellow, which is very ironic, but yeah, I will use Viserion now. Wow. Raxis goes down in one. That's really unfortunate. Come on, Pikachu. Take down Slifer, the Sky Dragon! Come on! Of course not. And crunch on our poor Pikachu! Sorry about that, Pikachu. But now our last standing monster is Burstinatrix. Wow. Um, can you do it, Burstinatrix? Come on. No, that was not enough. So, we lose to Slifer, as we should, of course. <sighs> How can we handle that differently? We do need to get him to red health, maybe this time. He cannot use rest. So I think that's going to be our next strategy. Trying to get him to red health first. Okay, 
Take number two. How do we get him to red health fast? It must be with Obelisk. It must be. Okay, Obelisk versus Lifer, take two. Here we go. Come on, Slifer, join our team, please! Wow! One hit, Obelisk takes down Slifer to red health! Awesome job, Obelisk! You see guys, this is the only instance where rest could have been beneficial in our obelisk. This is the only time that I use rest. Wow. Even at red health, Slifer doesn't want to go down easily, as he should of course, his Egyptian god card. Which only makes me speculate about what we'll have to do to catch the third Egyptian god card, but let's leave that until we get there. Sir. Wow, Ojama Yellow does it! Slifer, the Sky Dragon is caught! Ojama Yellow, in this episode, you caught both Obelisk and Slifer! Yes, Bans! <laughs> Ojama Yellow, you're our mascot for a reason! And now, guys, we have the second Egyptian god! Slifer, the Sky Dragon! Its second mouth will crush any monster it deems unworthy! Wow! I will definitely not give you a nickname, but I will add you to the team. So instead of Burstinitrix, I'm very sorry Burstinitrix, but it's Slifer. <laughs> I have to make room for two of the three Egyptian god cards in our team, and we do have Caraxes, Viserion, Ojama Yellow, and Pikachu. I think this is an awesome, awesome team, guys. And with that team, uh, we can go and challenge Mr. Konami for sure. Wild charge, okay. So, let's fly upon our Slifer here and go towards Fushia City, shall we? Wow. Now, let's heal up. No, thank you. And I remember the dollar sign in front of the Konami HQ, the double S like that. And you know what? There is something that I would like to do before tackling the Konami HQ. Sorry about that, guys. But uh, there is actually another Slifer that we can face with Mr. Strings here. So let's put Ojama Yellow up front. 
Why me, boss? Because you're our mascot, Ojomail, of course, against Mr. Strings Revival Jam. So let's use Ojama Delta Hurricane. Wow, more than half of our health is gone. And that is with the Ivulite equipped. Okay, that's a lot of uh, damage on your part, sir, and not a lot of damage on our part, I have to say. Wow, Jamaello perseveres in order to deliver one last return. Thank you for that, Jamaello. You fought valiantly. But you will go down to Revival Jam. But I will avenge you with our Egyptian god. I will send out Slifer, the Sky Dragon. Against Revival Jam, Nostalgia anyone? I will use Thunder Fang. And I really thought Slifer had Thunderbolt. Well, I guess after this I will uh, give it to him from our TM case. Another Revival Jam, so Revival Jam comes back from the graveyard against our Slifer, huh? How ironic! Another Thunder Fang! And you survive! Revival Jam perseveres again! Huh! You're no match to our Slifer, sir! So, let's use another! Okay, he withdrew him. For a mirror match with your Slifer! <laughs> Oh, but you have Lightning Rod. Special Attack Rose, that can't be good. So, I will use against you Dragon Claw. Wow, that was enough to take down our own Slifer Dam. I don't appreciate that, Mr. Strings. And you know what? I will avenge our Slifer with Obelisk, the Tormentor. I break the mold. Then I'll break the earth underneath you! Earth power! Wow, and our obelisk is paralyzed! Okay, but that's a lot of damage, so how about we use Drain Punch? Can we survive another Dragon Breath? Barely! Barely we survive it! And obelisk! is victorious against this fake slifer of yours, Mr. Strings. Revival Jam comes back. Well... I'll send out our Pikachu! <laughs> Let's see Pikachu in action, shall we? Now, I will use Nuzzle! Pot of Greed is next. Um, I don't remember the typing of Pot of Greed. It was Rock and Ghost, if I remember correctly. So, I'll leave Pikachu in. Okay, I will use Nuzzle against you. Man, I love the move Nuzzle. <laughs> it's like a guaranteed paralysis, uh, even though it has low power, but I really like it that you guarantee paralysis on, uh, on the opponent like that. Okay, not very effective. So we may have to switch now to our Caraxes. Wow, and he predicted that we will use Caraxes. Rock Blast is super effective. Wow, that's a lot of damage on your part, sir. Um, I will use Dragon Claw against you. Not a lot of damage at all. Okay, Caraxes goes down. That's interesting. How about Viserion? Oh, Night Slash and Surf. 
So I will use Surf against you, sir. And Rock Blast is super effective again. But hit two times only. Goodbye, Pot of Greed. Now, your last monster is Humanoid Slime, so you know what? I'll send out our Pikachu! Nothing? You have nothing to say, sir? Well, that's fine by me. I will use Nuzzle to paralyze you. You have Water Pulse, but hopefully we can deal damage to you. Okay, you're confused. And you have Shell Bell equipped. Wow, that's interesting. So, you know what? I will use Acrobatics here. That's not a lot of damage. So let's try out our return. Okay, that's more like it. Wow, our Pikachu survives, but I think he will make a quick exit now. Into our... Egyptian God, Obelisk, the Tormentor! Even though this is a type disadvantage, I'll break the mold, then I'll break your soul. I use Fist of Fury! Goodbye, humanoid slime with a critical hit even! With a vengeance, Obelisk, I like it! How could you lose when I gave you a god card? Well, look at the field, sir. I have a god card of my own as well. My mind is an empty shell, and that's why I will get the shell bell. <laughs> a very nice item. So I think I'll give that to one of our members. I think I'll give it to Corexes. And I don't give items to our Egyptian god cards because <laughs> that's a... Uh, an insult to their power. And before I forget, let's teach Thunderbolt to Slifer and Corexes can learn it as well. Oh, that, that would have been very beneficial in the previous encounter. Um, instead of what though? Ancient Power or Aerial Ace? It may also raise all the user's stats. So you know what? Sorry Aerial Ace, but I'll replace you. And on our Slifer... I'll replace Thunderfang for sure, but you know what? I want to replace Agility with something. So... Perhaps Aerial Ace. I think that would be very beneficial in our Slifer. Yeah, because I'm not gonna use Agility, so... Can I replace something on you, Viserion? No, Dragon, Dark... Water and Ice. Yeah, sorry, Aerial Ace. No place on our Viserion. But on our Slifer, we now have a very nice uh, set of moves that we can use. Against our next opponent, if we can get there. Oh, can't escape, huh? Okay, then. Dragon Claw, Viserion. And our next opponent is Mr. Esperoba. So, let's use the PC trick here. Uh, box 1 is nearly uh, full now, so I will use box 2. And you know what? I like Viserion, but how about we... <laughs> Uh, replace him with Quark for this battle. Uh, that would be nice. So, Viserion, sorry, but I'll replace you with Quark. And let's check Quark's uh, moveset. Uh, let's give him Surf. 
And what else? The ice type move. Let's check if it's there. Yes. So he has gust. Yeah, we can definitely replace that with surf. So welcome to the team, Quark. And our Pikachu is up front. No, <laughs> I will not do that. So let's deposit our Pikachu. And then withdraw him again. Do I <laughs> uh, get out Judy Hops? Well, she is level 25, so no, Pikachu will uh, continue in our team. And let's face Mr. Esper Roba. Ojama Delta Hurricane, Ojama Yellow! Oh, Psychic Terrain, eh? Jamayelo uh, is victorious. Okay, I did not expect that, Jamayelo. Excellent job. Illusion Magician comes next. And you know what? Let's uh, send out our Pikachu. And use Nuzzle to paralyze him. Okay, special defense raised for some reason. That's a lot of damage, and the quick exit will apply now. Who do we send out? You know what? I'll send out our Obelisk, the Tormentor! I break the mold, then I'll break your bones, and I will steal whatever item you have too, sir. Oh, Psychic is super effective against Obelisk? And takes him down in one on the psychic terrain. Oh, I don't like that. I don't like that one bit, sir. I'll send out our quark here to avenge him. Goodbye, illusion magician. Masked Beast. Okay. Um, what can I use against him? I think Surf on Quark will be super effective, but let's check it. Okay, Surf is super effective, so let's use that. Or not. Quark goes down to Masked Beast. And I'll send out Caraxes against you. Okay, the terrain returned back to normal. Excellent. That is a lot of damage and a critical hit to take down Caraxes in one hit. I don't want to send Slifer out just yet, so Jamayello, I'm sorry, but I'll have to use you against Masked Beast here using Bulldoze. Wow, another critical hit to take down with Yellow. I don't appreciate that, sir. So, Pikachu, I choose you! Now, let's use Nuzzle! Oh, you're faster. Even after a bulldoze, you're still faster than our Pikachu. So, we're down to our last monster, the Egyptian God, Slifer, the Sky Dragon! And I will take you down, sir, using Crunch! Which I totally forgot that you had, Slifer. He still has three monsters left. Wow, a 
very nice critical hit. No problem, taking down Jinzo like nothing. <laughs> awesome job, Slifer. Dark Magician Girl! Okay, so against you I will use Crunch again. You try, Dark Magician Girl, you try. But you're no match to our Egyptian God card. Now, your last monster is Masked Beast, sir. My psychic powers tell me victory is imminent! Well, it's 1v1, but look at the field, sir. I have Crunch on our Slifer to finish this duel! Goodbye, sir! My ESP failed! Of course it will, every time against our Slifer. I guess I shouldn't rely so much on, on my psychic powers. Here, take this. Obtain the Psychic Gem. Could be beneficial, but we do have a new member that we can add here. Um, I'm not gonna add him though. So just for now, I'll store Quark uh, in order to add Jinzo to our team. But as proven before, guys, the Jinzo equipped with the Twisted Spoon is a very, very powerful monster. So it's a bit OP uh, to use him. Lightning Rod. Confusion, Disable, Psych Up, and Supersonic. And very nice stats and very nice typing. Jinzo is a very powerful monster. So I used him before, but I'm not gonna use him this time. He's a bit, uh, a little bit overpowered. So let's replace him in our team with Quark once more. Now, let's fly upon our Slifer back to Fushia City. Man, what a sight would that be! <laughs> Life are coming down from the cloud like that. And now it's time to take down the evil corporation of Konami HQ. And we do have a resident Nurse Joy here, but I don't think we'll use her um, abilities very much because we have access to the PC function here. Um, so yeah, we don't actually have to go back to hers. Thank you again for this update from the ROM hack maker, and Ojamaelo is doing work here, and he missed. Okay, Ojamaelo goes down, that's really unfortunate, but I'll send out our Pikachu now, and use return on you, oh, okay, we can deal with that too. Goodbye, Mr. Mudball Man, and goodbye, Subsito, awesome job, Pikachu, and Marshmallow is here, wow. Do you know what? Marshmallow, in my opinion, is actually the mascot for Yugi Moto, while Dark Magician is the mascot for Yami Yugi. So it's very ironic what's on the screen right now that Pikachu um, is the mascot for Ash Ketchum against Marshmallow, which is the mascot for Yugi Moto. Man, I would love to see some AI generated images of that. <laughs> Them, like, having fun together, and. Wow. That would be nice. Uh, I think I'll try and do that and post about it uh, if possible. If I can do that, I'll put a link for it uh, on the top right corner. So, for now, Pikachu, I choose Return! Wow, more than half! Pikachu is not messing around, Mr. Marshmallow. <laughs> oh, but we do have quick exit now. Well, I'll send out our Corraxes against you. <laughs> well, Ash Ketchum did have... Um, so, no, don't forget his name now. Charmander, Charmeleon, and Charizard. Yeah, don't forget his name now. Uh, I can see the comments. So, Fire... Bl no, I was gonna say Fire Blast. Flame Blast! And goodbye, Marshmallow. And that will increase our attack power, but I don't think you have other monsters, right? No, you don't, Leonardo. How did I lose? Well, uh, Ash sent out his Pikachu and then ended things with his Charizard. So, you had no chance from the beginning, sir. Oh, and our Charizard, aka Caraxes, comes back. And I will use Dragon Claw against you.
Wow, took him down in one? I really hoped he would survive in order to see the flame blast effect, but he's too powerful for that. Um, so I'm very grateful. And Dark Geroid, another monster that I really don't like. But he's gonna get flame blast anyway. Okay. That's a decent amount of damage for you, Dark Geroid, so... Yeah, I don't appreciate it. And again, our Caraxes is cleaning house. The only thing that needs balancing is our balance sheet. <laughs> I totally forgot that uh, the ROM hack maker gave the Konami employees very funny dialogue, so I may keep those in order to see, uh, remind myself what they were. It restores any lowered stat in battle. It can be used only once. Okay. Cool, but I don't think I ever used that item, and uh, yeah, that's my own opinion. Oh, Mystical Beast Circuit, eh? Well, I have Flame Blast in order to take you down in one! And indeed, it does! That means we get to power up and attack our next victim. <laughs> so, who is it? Oh, Fortress Whale! Well, um... You know what? We do have Thunderbolt on our Caraxes. This is not the best matchup, but we'll make it work somehow. Thunderbolt, Caraxes! Wow, a very decent amount of damage, and you're paralyzed. But your attack goes through anyway. Wow, not so bad. Okay then, Caraxes! Finish this monster! Wow. Corexis is very powerful indeed. Glow Neos? Oh, you have no chance, sir. <laughs> no chance at all. Flame Blast! Another power-up, but he's out of monsters, Caraxes, mercy! <laughs> Defeated by Stylus Kid! Oh, oh, don't say that, sir. Thanks a lot, kid. You got my suit dirty. Now I have to switch into my custom-fitted Briani suit. Oh, the horror of that, sir. I can only imagine. Next we have Volcanic Shell. Sure. And goodbye, Volcanic Shell. Rescue Rabbit! Oh, don't make me do this to you, Rescue Rabbit, but I'm sorry. Flame Blast! What? Oh, that's a neat way to avoid uh, the attack there. Um, you know what? I'll continue using Flame Blast anyway. But that's a decent amount of damage. Well done, Rescue Rabbit. And you survived the Flame Blast! Sir, you have done a wonderful job training this rescue rabbit, I have to say. He avoided the attack, but if we survive this, and we do, we're gonna take down rescue rabbit, this very heroic rescue rabbit, and increase our attack power. Oh, Injection Fairy Lily is here, but she's an opponent, Injection Fairy Lily. I need to remind myself of that. Sorry to do this to you, Injection Fairy Lily, but I will have to use Flame Blast against you. And she goes down in one. Sorry about that, Injection Fairy Lily. I really don't like to do that. So, they use that against me, of course, and... Your last monster is a Neo Eater Bug. Well, I have no sympathies for this monster. So let's take him down using Ancient Power. Oh, Rock Slide is gonna be super effective though. And takes down our Caraxes. See, there's a reason why I don't like this monster. That means I will avenge our Caraxes with our Obelisk. The Tormentor! 
nail eater bug. I break the mold, then I will break your bones. I will even use fist of fury. Goodbye, Mr. Neo Eater Bug. You're not punishing me, you're punishing my cats! <laughs> Great! Now my cats only get eight servings of caviar today! How will they survive? Oh, I don't I won't worry about that, sir. And then we have the next two encounters on this floor. Okay, we can use Drain Punch against you. Gaia Power of the Earth, and I really had fun with this monster uh, in the previous version. Necroid Shaman, eh? Well, we do have Thief now. Thousand Dragon. <laughs> How dare you intimidate our obelisk, sir? Don't do that. But you're effective. You didn't go down in one. So I will use Drain Punch. To restore the HP you took from me, sir, with critical hit even. Obelisk is vindictive. I'm not bothered. Well, you should be. As long as I keep getting paid, do whatever you want. I don't care. Some employees have that attitude and I have to say I don't like it. Uh, Dark Pulse. So that's really nice. Dark Magician Girl against Obelisk. Oh, sorry about that, Dark Magician Girl. But she's very powerful that she withstood the, the wrath of Obelisk, but can she survive this? Fist of Fury! No, she cannot. But we do need her help against the next gym leader, so... Ghost Trick, eh? Now, there were some days where we couldn't use Obelisk against ghost types, but those days are behind us now. Would you think that this would work on our Egyptian god card? Go away, Gostric Witch! Nothing can stand in the wrath of our obelisk! This doesn't bod well for me! No, it does not, sir. If you can't handle the Konami heat, then go work for Game Freak! That rhymes for some reason. The expert belt will be very beneficial, and you know what? I will actually give it to our Quark! So, I still think I'm not gonna give Pikachu any more items. And you know what? In the next floor, let's lead with our Slifer the Sky Dragon. Let's see him in action. And I don't think we used Thunderbolt with him before. So we're gonna feature his attack against Big Shield Gardner. Thunder Force attack! And you get paralyzed, sir. Awesome job. No retreat. Sure, I will use Thunder Force attack anyway. And take you down, Mr. Big Shield Gardener. Not Big Shield anymore. Force Raider. Bring him on. And we'll use again Thunder Force Attack! No chance, Force Raider! So, is it debit or credit? <laughs> Can't fault me for trying. Well, uh, you were against Lifer. Focus Sash! Well, I did say that would be a very, very nice item on our Pikachu. But our Pikachu is hurting at the moment, so I would give him that. Um, that's the only item I would think I would give to Pikachu. And against you, sir, I will use Dragon Claw. Treeborn Frog. Well, sorry about that, Treeborn Frog. What? Oh, that's a suicide-like thing? You took down our Slifer like that, Reborn Frog? Oh, 
Okay. I will avenge Slifer with Obelisk then. Sorry about that, Wild Wing Man. But you will have to take a drain punch here. Until you go down. Cyclopean, bring him on. And I will take him on using Fist of Fury. You don't use enough staples. No, I don't have to, sir, when I have a team like this. Do you think we're trying to run charity? And the eject button. Well, that is Konami's mindset for ya. Okay, we do have Thief, but I think I'll use Drain Punch on you. Wow. Wow, Obelisk is vindictive after Slifer went down. Karate Man. Well, let's take him down as well. Hammer Arm. Where is my desk? Well, it got shattered by Obelisk, sir. My buddy went to the bathroom a week ago. <laughs> Haven't seen him since. Well, keep waiting, sir. I'm sure he'll turn up. Wow. You know what, sir? You're not very lucky. Because you're against our Obelisk. This person, right here, if I remember correctly, has three slot machines. <laughs> and Obelisk is gonna obliterate all three of them. Goodbye, kind sir. No chance. Just buy one more box. <laughs> if you don't pull what you want, just buy another box. That is the Konami mentality manifested indeed. Wow, that's not a lot of damage, but Thief is the best way to take you down. Wow, Super V Croy Jumbo Drill! Our our Dreamonjimon comes back. Do I need to shatter him with Obelisk? I think I will. Sorry about that, Dreamonjimon. Wow. And we can use Drain Punch, but I will actually use Hammer Arm for you, sir. That is super effective too. But good try against our Obelisk, sir. But no chance. No chance at all, Super Vicroid. Cybertech Alligator? Oh, I can punch that for sure. Goodbye, sir. <laughs> Celtic Guardian of the Noble Arms. Well, I'm... S oh, no, no moves left for that? Sure. Your cards are strong. Any of them for sale? Never! There's no way you got your cards legally. <laughs> I'm filing a report. Yeah, you do that, sir. And... You know what? Let's use the PC now. Uh, because we do have... You know what? Let's not. We do have two trainers left on this floor. And this is one of them. We do have Earth Power, but I think he's levitating. So Thief is our way to go. Against Ghost Types with Obelisk. And... That is a lot of damage, befitting an Egyptian god, of course. And goodbye, Lajin. Okay, sorry about... Extreme speed, eh? Well, good effort, sir. But, Fist of Fury will fix that for you. Goodbye, kind sir. No money, no drip! And someone explained this reference to me, but I still don't understand it, so sorry about that. Trick room, not gonna use that. Mo drip, mo chicks! Still have no idea what you mean, sir. Now, I don't wanna go back uh, just because we go down to this person for some reason. So I'm gonna use the PC. You know what? I'm not gonna do it. Let's risk it all! But first, <laughs> I'm gonna switch to our Pikachu first, so yeah, I'm gonna risk it all. Wow, okay, that's not a good matchup, but I'll use Return here. Decent amount of damage, 
but he goes down. That's unfortunate. Quark, time for you to shine, sir. And use Dragon Claw. Wow. Okay. Confused and paralyzed. But Quark prevails. Excellent job there, Quark. Time Wizard. Now that is a very annoying monster to face. I will use... I will not use Obelisk for Time Wizard, and I was just going to explain that he has some very annoying moves. That is definitely one of them. Time Wizard, you self-destruct. Well, that leaves us with our Egyptian God, which doesn't have Drain Punch. Can we do it? I say yes, we can, of course. Hammer Arm, Obelisk! Goodbye, Metal Zoa. And 1v1, who do you have left? Insect Queen! <laughs> Hello there, Insect Queen. Let's shatter the earth underneath you, if we can survive the sludge bomb. Okay, we can, and he did not get paralyzed or poisoned. Wow, okay, that's not a lot of damage. Can we, do can we use Thief on you to deal more damage? Don't take down Obelisk now, Insect Queen. Wow, okay. We do need to survive one more turn, so... Ha! One HP Obelisk takes down the Insect Queen! <laughs> this is our Egyptian God card, Obelisk the Tormentor! Good thing I have unemployment insurance! <laughs> Choose wisely! If you walk up those stairs, I lose my job. Is that really something you want on your conscience? Yes, sir. <laughs> and with that, wow, we have a 1 HP obelisk in our team. So, let's use the PC function now. And I do remember that... Uh, I previously well, did not understand why he wouldn't allow me to uh, store some monsters, but that's because they were fainted. So that's the reason why uh, he wouldn't allow me to uh, store any fainted monster. Uh, sorry, any left monster and keep me with a fainted monster. So um, now I understand it. But now let's deposit Obelisk and withdraw him from box one over here. And with that, I think we are ready. Let's check one more time our team. Ojamaello, Kuraxis with the Shell Bell, Slifer and Obelisk, Quark with the Expert Belt, and Pikachu with no item. I think we're good. I think we're good. So, Mr. Konami, here we go. And he has a lot of dialogue, guys, so bear with it. Oh, he's... Okay, I remember now. He's like the Kabuto from Naruto. Uh, he got the, the strongest monster from the six previous gyms that we faced. I dare him to try and do that with the next two gym leaders, but of course he can't. So, Harpy Lady Sisters against the Jamaello. I'll use Smackdown! Wow, that's not enough to take them down, but you're doing your best, Ojamaello. I will avenge you for sure. Sorry about that, Ojamaello. But I will avenge you using Slifer, the Sky Dragon. And I will take them down using Thunder Force Attack. Goodbye, Harpy Lady Sisters. One down and five to go. Black Luster Soldier, eh? Well, against him I will switch to our other Egyptian god, Obelisk, the Tormentor!
Wow. Such legendary duels, guys. Obelisk versus the, the Black Luster Soldier, but not in Yu-Gi-Oh! In Yu-Gi-Oh! Poke Duel! And against him, I will use Drain Punch! Wow, decent amount of damage there, sir. Too bad if someone punches you and takes all that HP back, wouldn't it? <laughs> That's why he's an Egyptian god, sir. Two down. Four more to go, starting with Gate Guardian. Gate Guardian is a strong one here. Um, you know what? I'll keep Obelisk in. Wow, Obelisk the Tormentor <laughs> versus Gate Guardian. Okay, Earth Power is super effective, so let's use Earth Power! Whoa! Okay, um... He took down Obelisk in one, Mr. Gate Guardian here, and I don't appreciate that one bit. We're in trouble now. Um, okay. It's between Quark and Slifer. I can't decide which, though. You know what? It could be Caraxes, too. So I'll send out Caraxes. Maybe if I use Flame Blast against him? No. Okay, Dragon Claw then. Wow, he survives! Well, that's not good. And the critical hit takes down Caraxes too! Well, Pikachu? Take down this monster for us, please! And he withdrew Gate Guardian. Oh no. Black Tyranno, though. A critical hit gives us damage more than half of his health. So thank you for that, Pikachu. Um, can you do it again? Okay, a little bit of health is left. Wow, Pikachu survives and I think Quick Exit will kick in. Indeed it does. So, Quark, come here. Take down this Black Tyranno, please. Using, wow, we have a lot of good options here. I will use Surf. Goodbye, Black Tyranno. Wow, <laughs> the team is getting stronger, isn't it? Uh, Mr. Konami's team, I mean. And uh, against our Quark and a hurting Pikachu, we only have Slifer 2. Legendary Fisherman 2? Sure, I can take care of that. With our Pikachu, of course. He still has three monsters left, yeah. Are we gonna do this first try? I don't think so, but let's do our best here. Come on, Pikachu. He's paralyzed. And he used Ice Beam. Pikachu goes down. That's really unfortunate, but he's paralyzed now. I still need Slifer, so I'm gonna use Quark here, actually. And I'm gonna use Dragon Claw! Okay, decent amount of damage. Jump Kick, though! Are you kidding me? Quark goes down, and we're down to our last monster! Slifer! The Sky Dragon! So, Slifer, take him down using Thunder Force Attack! Goodbye, Legendary Fisherman. Now, who's left? 
Gate Guardian comes back, but he's hurting! I forgot that he was hurting! So, I have no idea who's his last monster, so let's use Thunderbolt against Gate Guardian to take this monster down. He took down two of our strongest monsters in the team, but Slifer, thank you for taking down Gate Guardian, and his last monster is... Oh, I remember now. It's our ace monster, of course. The perfectly ultimate Great Moth is here, and again, standing beside Mr. Konami, just like it stood beside Chess Princeton and his Ojamas. This is another image that I'm gonna keep in my head forever, guys. I won't let you get in the way of my profit margins. Slifer against Perfectly Ultimate Great Moth. Here we go. <laughs> and let's use Thunder Force Attack. Wow, she prevails against an Egyptian god. What a monster. What a monster. But I'm afraid this duel is over. Slifer, use Thunder Force attack. And I'm sorry to do this to you perfectly ultimate great math, but there's a reason why you're the ace monster of Mr. Konami and for me and for Weevil and for... Man, I'm sorry to do this to you, but Slifer gives us this victory against Mr. Konami! No, My revenue! Man, this was a very, very fun battle. I like it. How can this be? Konami, taken down by a mere child, I hope, in real life too. You selfish child, how dare you spoil my plans for world domination! Did your mother ever teach you proper manners? She did, sir. Banish him to the Shadow Realm? Of course! Of course, let's do that. And we have freed the world of Konami HQ. Hideo Kojima fans rejoice. <laughs> and we do get the life orb. And if I remember, we cannot use the escape rope in this area, but let me check anyway. No, we cannot, so we have to leave the old-fashioned way. Yeah, and with uh, Mr. Konami defeated, that means that we can enter the mansion and enter the Shadow Realm. But I'm not gonna enter the Shadow Realm without the means to dispel the shadows and we don't have that ability yet. So thank you for that Nerds Joy. Now let's fly upon our Slifer back to the city of Atlantis. What a sight is that Mr. Darts? Can you see us from your tower? <laughs> And I actually have an idea of the team that I would like to use against Mr. Darts, um, that we must find the key for his gym here in this Pokemon Mansion. Um, and I would like to try this idea on you first, Mr. Maximilian Pegasus. And by the way, this is a totally optional duel. You don't actually have to face Mr. Ahem, Mr. Um, Pegasus here, as I was saying before I got rudely interrupted. Um, but um, I remember this area is being very high chance of encounters, so let's use some super repels here. And put it up here for easy access later. And yeah, so for the team. This is a very good team, but you know what? There's a new member that I would like to add, because I believe this member is going to be crucial against our uh, next encounter against Mr. Dort, so it's Regal, uh, the beautiful shiny version of Yuzan Ryu, so I will definitely add you, instead of Quark or Caraxes. Well, Caraxes is definitely part of the plan, so just for now, I'll put Caraxes in the box and give some rare candies to our beautiful dragon, Regal, the other dragon from Game of Thrones. Ice Beam. Well, Ice Fang is 65. 9100, so it will definitely replace Ice Fang. Drill Peck. Well, that can replace Light Screen for sure. I don't think Ice Ball is a good move, so I'm not gonna learn that. Heavy Storm! Okay! Summon a Heavy Storm dealing massive damage. The field is cleared of all entry hazards. Now that could be very powerful. It's the same power level as Drill Pack, but you know what? It will replace it. 
Let's add Heavy Storm. And level 50 achieved, excellent. Now with this team, let's go face the first of the Elite Four members, Mr. Maximilian Pegasus. Oh well hello there, Dong Girl. I heard there was a new hotshot running around Kanto. That must be you! <laughs> you see, this old mansion used to be mine. I've spent so many summers here, but I've gotten so busy that I have no use for it anymore. I'm looking to sell it. In fact, one of the Kaiba brothers is in the basement looking the place over as we speak. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> I promise I didn't kidnap him this time. <laughs> He's here strictly for business. While I wait for him to finish, how about we have a duel, Dong Girl? If you can beat me, I'll make it worth your while. Let the fun begin! Okay then, Mr. Maximilian Pegasus. Here we go. Preview of what's to come. Mimi Cat! Well, that's interesting because now we have Ojama Yellow. <laughs> Do we have a, an Ojama Yellow mirror match? Well, you know what? I will use Ojama Delta Hurricane just in case he transforms. No, he went for metronome instead. I thought we will... Okay. Okay, decent amount of damage, Ujama Yellow. But I wanted to fill the... F yes, that's my exact thought. I wanted to fill the field with Ujamas all around. <laughs> Ujama Delta Hurricane is still not enough to take you down. And you withdrew, Mimikat. Okay, Toon Gemini Elf. But, by the way, does Mimikat stay in the Ojama Yellow form or not when it tags back in? That's an interesting thought. Wow! Wow, that's a lot of damage. I don't appreciate that, Toon Gemini Elf. Okay, then, you know what? I'll send out our Pikachu to avenge our Ojama Yellow. And I will do so by first using Nuzzle on you. Oh, you withdrew Toon Gemini Elf. Toon Ancient Gear Golem. Wait, what? So it's not the ground type? And it got paralyzed? Sure, I'm up for it. So let's use Return. Okay, not very effective. Autotomize, whatever that means. But I will use Acrobatics next, with double power, which is still not very effective. Mechanize Melee! I always love that move from Professor... or Dr. Crowler, I should say. That's a lot of damage, but Quick Exit kicks in, and I shall take you down using our Obelisk! Do you remember that card, Mr. Pegasus? Well, first I'll break the mold, then I'll break the earth underneath you! Goodbye, Toon Ancient Gear Golem! Toon Gemini Elf, come back, sure! Feel the wrath of Obelisk! And I will do so using Drain Punch! Goodbye, Toon Gemini Elf. Nothing can stand in the way of our Egyptian God card. Who do you have next, sir? Toon Mermaid. Well, you know what? For Toon Mermaid, I'll send out our Slifer, the Sky Dragon. Now, take her down using Thunder Force Attack. Goodbye, Toon Mermaid. Who's next, Mr. Pegasus? Toon Red Eyes Black Dragon. Bring him on. Bring him on. And again, use Thunder Force Attack. Oh, Devil Bling goes first, eh? Super effective. Deals a lot of damage, I have to admit. I don't appreciate that, Red Eyes. And we deal a lot of damage on our own, but I'm afraid that Slifer will go down here. Okay, Red Eyes, I don't appreciate that. I will avenge our Slifer with our Rhaegal! 
Now, let's take him down using Heavy Storm! Oh, you have Infernal Blast. <laughs> Drakkar is dread, I remember that. Super effective. And Drago goes down in one. Ouch! Okay, then I'll send out Quark then. Very beautiful looking Quark. And Surf is super effective. Okay then. I should have used you instead of Rhaegal in order to see more of him. But we learn. Toon Dark Magician. Well, you know what? I'll send out our Pikachu in order to paralyze him because I believe he has only two monsters left, right? I believe so. Toon Dark Magician followed by Mimikat. So let's use Nuzzle. Oh, fake out. I totally forgot about that. Pikachu! <laughs> that is a guaranteed paralysis. Awesome job, Pikachu. Now, let's use Return. Dark Magic Attack will take down Pikachu. Oh, oh, very unfortunate. But don't worry, Pikachu. I will avenge you with our obelisk, the Tormentor. First I break them all, then I'll break your bones, obelisk. Use Fist of Fury. Goodbye, kind sir. And you know what? I actually have a very fun last turn idea, because now you have Mimikat, right? I'm actually going to switch to our Quark for a very good reason. <laughs> Mimikat comes back. You see, darn girl, I found that with the proper incentive, anyone can be made to play my game. Well, you have a very nice game indeed, Mr. Maximilian Pegasus, and I love your sprite next to Mimikat like that. But there's a reason why I put Quark up here, because I would like to switch to Obelisk while you use Transform. Can we see it? Can we see it? Come on! Let's see an Obelisk mirror match! No, he went for Metronome! Okay, but if I switch now, it will not work. Okay, so sorry about this Mimikat, but I will use Fist of Fury to take you down. I give you a chance. I give you a chance to see an Obelisk Mirror match and you turn it down. That was quite a duel. Awesome job, Dawn Girl. As I promised, here are the rewards for defeating me. And we get Dazzle Gleam and the Pixie Plate. Thank you very much for those very valuable items, Mr. Maximilian Pegasus. I better get going now. Oh, don't be sad, Dawn Girl. I have a very good feeling we'll meet again. Ta-ta! <laughs> yes, until we meet again, Mr. Pegasus. Covert Cloak, the Organization 13's cloak. And we have a few items to collect here. And a few more encounters. Oh, and speaking of encounters, uh, let's use the PC method now. To heal everyone back up, and I definitely want to see Regal in action. So sorry about that, Regal. I put you in danger's way in front of Red Eyes. Okay, this area is closed. You see, guys, exploring this area is not <laughs> that obnoxious with, while using Repel, so. That's my advice to you. Whoa! You startled me! I thought you were a ghost! Well, I think I have Obelisk up front, so that <laughs> means that you're going to turn into a ghost yourself very soon, sir. Obelisk is here! Okay, and we have a grassy terrain. Well, too bad for you, sir, that I'm going to punch you! Okay, you're very fast. Super effective? Ha! Fist of Fury, Obelisk! Wow, you survived Fist of Fury! 
Oh, I'll give you that. You're very tough. Can you survive a second one? Definitely not, sir. Rio Ren. Well, we do have work here. Maybe Rhaegal should learn Surf in order... Yeah, I should have used the TMKs on, on our Rhaegal to give him more variety. So, I will use Surf with Quark. And it was super effective. Excellent job, Quark. Rocket Warrior. So now I'll summon our Rhaegal. Let's see him in action properly this time. And everything is not super effective. <laughs> so after this encounter, I will definitely try... Okay, you have speed boost, sure. Okay, decent amount of damage, but not a lot of damage dealt to you, sir, because this is not the best matchup. But now, we're going to learn from our mistake and... See, Rhaegal uh, Arsenal of Moves updated after I take you down using Thunder Force Attack. How dare you attack Slifer first, sir. Take him down, Slifer. Goodbye, Rocket Warrior. Huh, I can't get any wins. I wonder why. <laughs> You're facing Obelisk and Slifer at the same time, sir. So, uh, PC, let's deposit our Rhaegal. And now let's check the TM case. Maybe we can make his arsenal moves more powerful, and indeed we can. We have Surf now. Uh, that we can learn instead of Endure. What else, I wonder? Oh, it would have been something if it, <laughs> if uh, our Rhaegal can learn Thunderbolt, but that's not the case, unfortunately. Aerial Ace, we do have Heavy Storm, so no. Dazzle Gleam. Wait, I believe that would be awesome on our Jamayello. Instead of what though? Smackdown? Or Bulldoze? I'm not gonna replace those two, so Smackdown versus Bulldoze versus Dazzle Gleam. You know what? I'm sorry, Smackdown, but Dazzle Gleam will have to replace you. And our Pikachu, too, can learn it. That's interesting. Um, I believe instead of Low Sweep. Okay, so that... Wow, that is a very nice addition to our Arsenal of Moves. Smackdown on our Obelisk, though. <laughs> That's interesting. And Aurora Veil, the move that I bought and I thought it was Aurora Beam... But no, uh, so we only give him Surf. Sure, a very decent upgrade, but not the best. Uh, let's update our Repel, sure. And did that affect the status of this area? No, it did not. Okay. So now we go upstairs then. Wait, was there something down there? No, uh, that's all upstairs. So here we have a second encounter. I can't get out! This old place is one big puzzle! You're literally beside the exit, sir. Wow. Wow, our dread, eh? 
with Blind Red, sorry about that. Wall Shadow. So we had trouble against Wall Shadow before with our Obelisk. Uh, but not anymore, because we have Thief now. Super effective against you, sir. We can get you in the dark. Goodbye, Wall Shadow. Oh no, my bag of loot! <laughs> so you're a, you're going to rob this place and you want out? Don't think so, sir. And I love those entries, I remember them. Cairo, Egypt. This pain is unbearable. Chadi replaced my left eye with this Millennium item. I saw a vision of Cecilia. I must learn the meaning behind this item. Yeah, I, I love those added texts in the game. Okay, nothing here. I've traveled to Egypt searching for a way to revive my dear Cecilia. I just met a man named Chaddy, who I believe read my mind. I plan on following him later tonight. Very interesting. I wonder what happens after that. And those super repels do not last long, I have to say. Um, let's check upstairs, another encounter with another entry, and a max potion. I haven't left these tombs in six months. I've discovered these ancient shadow games that were played in ancient Egypt. I must recreate these shadow games. I'll call it Duel Monsters. I'm heading back to Industrial Illusions next week. Well, good luck to you, Mr. Pegasus. I have a hint! Um, that this could be a very uh, nice strategic business move on, on your part, sir. But not for the fate of the world, unfortunately. This place is, like, huge! Okay. Apophis against Obelisk. Sure. I wonder how that will go. <laughs> not good on your part, sir. Now, let's activate you. Does that change anything over here? I Sorry guys that I keep checking, but I forget sometimes, so... So nothing changed over here, so... To the next floor we go! Okay, so here we have an encounter, and this is where we need to go, but let me check on the right side first. Nope, you. Sure. Okay, so this is where we get this item, HP up. Sure. Now, I don't remember what happens if I go down here, actually. Oh, we're back here, okay. That's fine by me, so there's only one way to go. I just needed to confirm that. And let's face you, but let's put our Slifer up front this time to face you, sir. <laughs> Against slot machine! Hello there, our lucky seven. Not lucky for this person, I'm, I'm afraid. Wait, now we have level 51? That's interesting. Air Slash! Sure. 75.95 instead of Aerial Ace? Why not? Let's learn it. And this is the exit, but we don't need to leave yet. We still have this area.
Full restore. Excellent. Now let's face you, sir. And we do have one more entry here. It's the three-month anniversary of the release of Duel Monsters, but I'm now back here in Egypt, and I'm standing before what looks like a stone tablet of three gods. I must create them, no matter the cost. Yep, that will end up uh, being a very nice decision on your part, sir, and I know this is an encounter, but sure. Ryukishin Power Day. Now, do I activate this right away? I believe so. So let's do this. And we do have an encounter against one of the Kaiba brothers now. So let's use the PC trick and deposit Slifer and Obelisk. And then withdraw them back again. Unfortunately for you, Mokuba. Now, let's make sure Ojamaelo's up front. Indeed he is. Hey! What are you doing here? This is a restricted area. This is going to be the newest location of the Kaiba Corp Amusement Park. Well, not if I have uh, a key to find. Then you can do whatever you want with the area, sir. Blue Eyes White Dragon! Man, I missed Blue Eyes in our team. <laughs> But we do have two Egyptian God cards now. Wow, Dazzle Gleam is super effective with Jamayano! I did not see that one coming, and you played Mountain. That's the first time we see that field spell played in the new version. Super effective, but not a lot of damage, unfortunately. Wow, more than half, and he flinched! Well, we tried, Ojamaelo. We tried. Against Blue Eyes, White Dragon, of course. No chance. But you know what, Ojamaelo? I don't want you to worry, sir. Because I will avenge you with our Slifer, the Sky Dragon! The Battle of the Dragons, Mokuba. Dragon Claw! Goodbye, Blue Eyes. Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon comes next, and you know what? How fitting, I will send out our Obelisk, the Tormentor! Against your mountain-powered Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon! You intimidate our Obelisk, are you sure about that? Because I will use Fist of Fury! Wow, Obelisk goes down in one. And the terrain gets back to normal, but wow, that's a lot of damage. Take down Mokuba, uh, sorry, Mokuba taking down Obelisk like that. That's interesting. Wow, quick exit will... Uh, will Make our Pikachu switch to our Rago. Do we have something against Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon here? I hope so. Well, we have Ice Beam. And Rago takes down Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. Excellent job, Rago. There's a reason why you're part of my plan against Mr. Darts. Excellent job. Who do you have next, sir? Diamond Head Dragon. Well, that's going to be a problem, but you know what? Not a problem to our Slifer, the Sky Dragon. With our Dragon Claw.
Wow, that's a lot of damage, sir. I don't appreciate that. And you withdrew, Diamond Head Dragon. For Hungry Burger. Okay, then. Let's debut our Air Slash, then. And goodbye, Hungry Burger. Nice to see you. Diamond Head Dragon comes back, but you know what? Let's give this win to our Quark. He's the one we haven't seen yet in this duel. And let's do so using Ice Fang. Oh, Stone Edge though. But, wow, he avoided the attack, are you kidding me? Well, that's really unfortunate, but I will send out our Rhaegal to finish the job here. From one shiny version to another, I will use Ice Beam! He's fast, I like that. Goodbye, Diamond Head Dragon. Rhaegal reigns supreme. King of Dragons. Sure, bring him on. And I really love King of Dragons being the one standing beside Mokuba, because I call my King of Dragons Kaiba Man. Wow, so Kaiba Man next to Mokuba. <laughs> that is very fitting. Big bro, I need you! And Kaiba Man comes in. Lovely. I just love, love how those scripts pan out, you know? Ice Beam, Rhaegal! Thunder Wave? Sure, get us paralyzed, but we will take you down using Heavy Storm! Wow, how unfortunate is that? Rhaegal will go down to Kaiba Man! Well, Kaiba Man is super effective hyper voice and a critical hit. What can I say about that? Well, let's give this one... To Pikachu, <laughs> Pika, Pika, I know we have Slifer, you know, but it's Mokuba, let's not destroy him like that, and let's do it with Acrobatics, Pikachu! Goodbye, with a critical hit even to respond! <laughs> lovely, lovely, lovely! My bro will not be happy! Well, why did you take his blue eyes in the first place? This mansion is going to get demolished and replaced with a new amusement park! Um, do whatever you want, sir, but give me the key that I need first, then you can do whatever you want to this area. Dragon Gem. Interesting. Interesting. Secret key is obtained, but I remember there's an item here. Indeed, Solar Beam. Sure. So now we can exit this area, or we can use an escape rope, I know. Um, but there's no need for that. Or maybe there is. Oh, I actually have to. Okay then, so... My bad. Escape rope <laughs> used indeed. So, let's face the trainers um, that we have here before facing the gym leader himself. Okay, Pikachu goes down. That means we only have Slifer now. Too bad for you, sir. And we lose. To Snowman Eater. I told you that's a scary monster. I told you guys. <laughs> and it gets us all the way back here. Well, well, well. Our Slifer. You know what? I'll put you up front for this. Because... Uh, yeah, you deserve a revenge against this person. Seriously? Sure, I'll take her down. Now, where is that snowman eater? I'll take you down using Thunder Force attack. 
Wow, and you take Slifer a second time! I told you guys this is a scary, scary monster. And I will avenge our Slifer with Obelisk, the Tormentor, of course. Break his bones, Obelisk. Fist of Fury! Man, that was a very tough monster. I don't like that monster at all. Uh, but let's see what we have after that. Penguin Soldier goes down. Snowman Eater again. Sure! <laughs> it's very weird that the Quick Exit did not activate. But sure thing. Okay... Okay, and Dragol reigns supreme. Excellent job. I'm sorry to do this to you, Viserion, but Quark is here, and Dragol's uh, not so shiny version is here as well. Okay, then. Wow, that goes through and it's frozen. Excellent job. Don't tell me you just did that. Trying to learn Megahorn. Um, bug type move. 120 but 85 accuracy only. A brutal ramming attack delivered with a tough and impressive horn. Well, we do have horn attack here, which is more accurate. But you know what? I believe a bug type move <laughs> is a sign for us. Too hot to handle. Well, I wish there were a thief Pokemon. I'd use that. Really? Really, sir? Who do we have now? Regal, Ojamayelo, and Obelisk. You know what? Sure. Oh, I should have used Megahorn. I totally forgot about that, so definitely I'll do that now. That's not a lot of damage, Ujamayelo. But I will avenge you, don't worry about that. So, let's deposit everyone. And let's face you a slifer, sir. Wow, that was the right decision. Take you down, Catapult Turtle. Wow, hello there, Duke Frog. Another member of our Naruto uh, Toad team, and now we have access to the <clears throat> to the gym leader himself. So, <clears throat> you know what? No, I will actually go back uh, to the Poké Center. I know we don't have to, but I cannot think with Mr. Dark standing there like that. So, let's go heal up. And this is my idea, guys, for the team. Okay. I cannot face Mr. Darts with the Egyptian God cards, and I cannot face him without the help of Dark Magician Girl Catherine, of course. So let's do those things first. So there's our Catherine, instead of our Slifer. And let's withdraw our Obelisk as well. Now, my idea is that our team should consist of Dark Magician Girl, Ojama Yellow, and the three legendary dragons that uh, Yugi faced Mr. Darts with. And uh, we don't have access to them now. In fact, we don't have access to them until very much later in the game. So, here's my plan. I'm going to replace them in our team with Game of Thrones dragons. So, I have here Caraxes, 
or replace Critias. I have Rhaegal, who will be re the replacement of Tamias. And not Quark. Quark, you have the expert belt? Wait. I don't think I'll keep that on you. I think I'll give that to Arcatrin. So... Sorry, Quark, but I will take that from you and give it to our Catherine. And, uh, yeah, instead of Hermos, I will have our Viserion. So, Viserion replacing Quark. Sorry, Quark, but you're not a Game of Thrones dragon, uh, even though you're from Lunar. But, about the last spot, guys, I had an idea for a warrior, but... I think Pikachu has proven himself to be a warrior. Um, his ability for Nuzzle to uh, cause instant paralysis could be very beneficial for us against Mr. Darts. And I believe this is the team. All that's left is to give rare candies to our team members. And to put Ujamayelo up front and we're ready to go. Uh, so... That... That I don't think is the best matchup against Mr. Darts, but who cares? <laughs> That's the team that I think is the best fit uh, for my theme. Aurora Veil, vale, see? <laughs> I will not learn that, Viserion. And uh, I will take a, a look at our TM case before I go face Mr. Darts. But I believe we have everything that we need. So Psybeam replaces Confusion, sure. Dark Burning Attack. Now we're talking against Disable. Night Slash. Sure, against Charm. It will replace it. I'm not gonna learn Psy Wave. Psychic. Okay then, so this is the one that we're going to use. And level 52 achieved. And on our Caraxes is level 52 as well. Guys, this is the team that I plan to take Mr. Darts with. Ojama Yellow, Pikachu, Catherine, because we cannot face Mr. Darts uh, without her in the team and her help. And the three legendary dragons. Caraxes, Rhaegal, and Viserion. <laughs> <laughs> to replace the Maius, Hermos, and Critias. How will this go? I have no idea. The only thing we can do is try and see for ourselves, shall we? So here we go. Hello, Mr. Darts. For 10,000 years, I have waited for this moment to wipe the earth of evil and restore the city of Atlantis. With your soul dawn, the great Leviathan shall rise again. I activate the seal of Orichalcos. Well, here we go, Leader Darts. Sends out Emperor Penguin. Well, we send out our Ojama Yellow. Yes, boss! Yes, Ujama Yellow, I count on you! And he has Icy Rock, so let's use Ujama Delta Hurricane! That's a lot of damage! I don't appreciate that, sir! And that's not a lot of damage on our end, so... Yeah, unfortunately Ujama Yellow will go down here! But you've done your job, Ujama Yellow! Yes, boss! I will avenge you, Ujama! Don't worry about that! I will avenge you using our Caraxes, a.k.a. Critias, because he has Flame Blast. But he withdrew Emperor Penguin. Frost and Flame Dragon, okay, now that's a problem. Yeah, he's not affected by Flame Blast. Oh, but super effective with Ancient Power, if we can survive this. Okay, so we can take that hit. How about our damage? That's a lot of damage! And the shell battle will kick in too! Okay, so 
No critical hit, please. Yes! So now, go down, Frost and Flame Dragon, for our Kuraxes, aka Critias! And the Shell Bell kicks in too. Okay, we're both down one member, but next is Divine Serpent G, and I have a plan for you, sir. First, you will face our Rago, aka Tamias! He will weaken you first, sir, until our Dark Magician Girl can take you down. And I will use Ice Beam for that percentage of being frozen. I highly doubt it will work, but let's see. It worked! And he defrosted right away. <laughs> okay, spoke too soon. It is the, the White Serpent, after all. He's not gonna make this easy, and... His speed rose, that's not good for us, and he has the Black Sludge too. Okay, he outspeeds our Ragel. Yeah, and our Ragel goes down to Myas, no! But I will avenge you, sir, with our trusty Dark Magician Girl! Come here! Take down this monstrosity! And he has shed skin. Okay, maybe that's why he did not freeze. Psychic is super effective. She avoids the this This is fate. Guys, this is fate! Go down, Divine Serpent! You are never, never a match to our Dark Magician Girl! Neo Aquamador. Okay, I think I'll uh, give this one to our Viserion, aka Hermos! But excellent job, Dark Magician Girl! We're in a very good spot at the moment. Thank you for invading that junk shot. And now, let's use Dragon Claw. Okay. This is our most powerful move against you. And this is ironic. Um, Neo Aquamadur looks like the Night King against our Viserion. Um, who is not gonna get frozen by your attacks, sir. So, I like this irony of Game of Thrones. <laughs> He's not, a, he's not going to get frozen again, sir, I assure you that. Okay, so far so good. So, it will be very nice if the Saren can take you down and that's a lot of damage. Can we do it next turn? Come on, take him down, the Saren. Take down the Night King! Goodbye, Neo Aquamador Viserion gets his revenge! Emperor Penguin comes back. I have a flame blast from Critias right here for you, sir. Thank you, Viserion, aka Hermos. But now, Corraxes comes back, aka our Critias. Use flame blast! Oh, that's not good. No! No! I need Critias to take down Shunaros later! No! Our Corexis goes down! But our Dark Magician Girl has Dark Burning Attack that will take down Emperor Penguin. But what do I do now against Shunaros? Goodbye, Emperor Penguin. You caused us a lot of trouble there. Let's see how things go. Yeah, there he is, Shuleros. So I think I will switch to our Pikachu and use his muzzle ability. I hope it comes handy. Come on, Pikachu. Can you imagine sending out Pikachu against Shuleros? Come on, let's do this. Pikachu! Get paralyzed, kind sir. Ha! Excellent job. Now let's use... I think we use acrobatics here for the double damage. A critical hit is not even that much damage, but he's paralyzed again! Come on, Pikachu! Pikachu, take him down! Okay, he survives. And the quick exit will kick in. Is that enough for our Catherine to take down Shunaros? She already took down the Divine Serpent! And we, oh, Mirror Armor is a very good ability, but hopefully we will not activate it. Dark Burning Attack! Goodbye, 
my Shunaros, you had no chance again! Our Dark Magician Girl comes in victorious! Oh, but not against the Great Leviathan, though. I need Pikachu's help here. Pikachu, I need your services once more. Against Mr. Darts' ace monster and last monster? Wow! Wow! That means we get to see... This! I've never encountered such a powerful soul. It will be mine. But I love this image of Darts and Dark Leviathan like that, or the Great Leviathan. Nuzzle is gonna paralyze you? Can we take you down with Pikachu? Oh no, Dragon Ball is gonna take him down, okay. But we definitely need to weaken him. So Viserion does have a Dragon-type move. Oh, Viserion is red health. If he goes down, it will be 1v1. <laughs> the Dark Magician Girl versus the Great Leviathan. Is that what's gonna happen here? Or you're gonna get paralyzed, sir? That's a decent amount of damage, by the way. Okay, Viserion, with a critical hit, you with a vengeance, Mr. Leviathan. But now, it's 1v1 as fate demanded. Our Dark Magician Girl against the Great Leviathan. Alright, let's take him down. Drink is super effective, but it's not gonna deal a lot of damage as Psychic. Finish this duel. Oh no. <gasps> it's fate. You know what? I will kiss you goodbye, kind sir, just like CM Punk. Dark Magician Girl wins this duel, actually taking the three ace monster of Mr. Darts and in full health. That is fate. I love this game, guys. I love this game and let's enjoy the music because we have earned it! Dark Magician Girl! <laughs> Man, I love this ROM hack. Thank you, Mr. ROM hack maker, and thank you, our Dark Magician girl, Catherine. How could this be? The Orichalcos has been defeated. You have earned this gym badge, Leader Dart says. The Volcano Badge, Don, it is yours. Here, take this as well. And he gives us Ice Beam, a very powerful TM indeed. It's the ultimate ice technique. If you haven't yet gone entered the Shadow Realm, your win against me proves you are strong enough. To go through it now. But I can't do that quite yet, sir. I need the services of the monster who will dispel the shadows of the Shadow Realm. The third Egyptian god card, the Winged Dragon of Ra! And with the help of Bill here, he's gonna take us to where we can acquire him. Um, on the Sevi Islands, man. <laughs> Man, I love this game, and he's gonna, Mr. Silio here, give us the meteorite that contains the symbiote, of course, and the map and the pass. Man, I love that duel, and uh, this is a very, very nice team. I'm very happy about it, so let's uh, take a look at them one more time, give them their thanks. So, Jamayello, Pikachu, Viserion, Dark Magician Girl, Rhaegal, and Corexes, thank you for this awesome, awesome duel, and thank you for uh, watching this part guys and uh, staying with me on this amazing uh, journey called Yu-Gi-Oh! Pokeduel and I'll see you next part. Goodbye!